Hi and welcome. In this video, we are going to discuss about the content database in SQL Server. How is it created and what are its limitations and uses in SQL Server? First, we will see what is a content database. A content database is a self contained database that has its own metadata, database settings, and configuration, and it doesn't depend on SQL Server instance that hosts it. The database user that is created in this content database doesn't have an associated login in the master database. In general, to create a user to a regular database, we need to first create a login that connects the master database and then create a database user and map that user with the login associated in the master database. In case of content database, we are not going to create any login in the master database. Instead, we directly create a user in the database itself and it doesn't need a login that is associated in the master database. And the entire authentication process occurs at the user database level itself. This feature of content database is introduced with SQL Server 2012. Next, we'll see how to set up this content database feature. This is not enabled by default. We have to enable this content database feature at server properties level. We can either do it using GUI or SP underscore configure. And then while creating a database in the database properties, we have to give the containment type as partial to make the database a content database. We can even make the existing database as a content database by using alter database command or going to the database properties. We can make the containment type as partial. If content database feature is not enabled at server level, you will get an error and you can see in the error message it clearly states that you have to enable content database authentication at the server properties level using sp underscore configure i will show you while we walk through the demo so and next we have to create a database user to use the content database once a user is created we have to log in and check with the user credentials and while connecting to the sql server we have to Select the content database in the SSMS. I will show you. Let's jump into the demo. Here is my SQL Server instance. Now you can see the step one is we have to enable this content database feature at instance level. Go to server properties and in the advanced section, in the content database. We have to choose true from the drop down list and click on OK. OK, but I'm not going to do this now because I would like to show you SP underscore configure option. But before that, I would like to show you the error which I was discussing. So before doing this step one, if you go to step two, that means when you create a database, new database, give the database name. And if you go to options and in the containment type, you have none and partial. Select partial and when you click OK, you get this error because I have not yet enabled the content database feature at server properties level. Okay. Let me do it using sp underscore configure statement. You got the results check for content database authentication here i have it just copy and make the value as one you can see the current configuration value is zero i am making it one which means i am enabling it okay and use reconfigure Now check the value of sp underscore configure for this content database authentication. You can see the modified value is 1. It means it has been enabled now. You can even verify this at server properties level. Go to server properties and go to advanced section and you can see enable content database option is true which means the feature is now enabled at instance level. This means the step 1 is completed. 
now we are at step 2 create a database and in the containment type we have to select as partial new database give the database name and in the options you can see in the containment we have two options none and partial none means there is no content database or the content database feature is not being used by default for each database this mode is set as none but if you select partial the database is going to be a partially contained database we can define boundaries between databases and the servers so that the metadata will exist inside the databases this will make sql server databases more portable and less dependent on underlying hosts and rest all options i am leaving it as it is okay now i have my content database which is test one now step one and two are completed let us create a database user in this content database new user here you can see the user type there are few options here sql user with login this is selected for a normal database but we are using a content database we get an other option which is sql user with password but if you see this or when you compare with other database which is not contained you will not have that option let me show you let me bring those two side by side so that you will understand you can see this sql user with password option is not present for a regular database sql user with password is not present here okay let me close so let me create a user cnt1 password and okay step 3 is also completed now step 4 we have to log in and check our credentials with the content database user let me connect our database username is cnt1 and password when you click on connect it will give me an error why because this is going to connect to the default database that is present here connect to the database here you have to select your content database because this user is created in a content database and this user is allowed to access only that content database so you have to know the database name test one when i hit connect i was now able to make this successful connection to the instance if you expand databases you can only see the content database because this user is created in a content database and is not allowed to access any other database except that content database where this user is existed if you observe this user cnt1 user is not having a login at instance level you can check under security logins there is no user with cnt1 name the authentication occurs at content database level okay now i have some databases here how do i know whether the database is a contained database or not if you have one or two databases you can just check in database properties but you have some 20 and 30 databases it's not easy to go to each database and check the containment type so we have some query some sql query select containment comma name from sysdot databases if i execute this i get the list of databases along with the containment type so here i have two databases that are contained databases so this test one database is the one which we have created in the demo and this second query is used to check which users are listed as content user in a database 
first go to the database and execute the statement it will give you the list of users which are content users in the database okay and we have some users and limitations as we discussed users will be able to connect to a content database without authenticating a login at the database engine level and which helps to isolate this database from the database engine thereby making it possible to easily move the database from one instance of SQL server to another and in that case there will not be any orphan user issues when you are using a content database and is migrated to another instance and we cannot use some features with the content database and those are replication CDC change tracking schema bounding objects that depend on built-in functions with collation changes and you have to remember uh, content database have some unique threads that should be understood and mitigated by the SQL Server DBS. When content databases are enabled, database users with alter any user permission such as members of the DB owner or DB access admin database roles can grant access to databases and by doing so grant access to the instance of SQL Server. This means that control over access to the server is no longer limited to the members of sysadmin and security admin fix server role. So before allowing content databases, one should understand the risk associated with content database. You have to follow some security best practices with content databases. These are discussed in Microsoft documentation. I will be sharing this link in the video description. You can take it from there. I hope you have understood the concept and demo. Thank you. Thanks for watching the video. We will meet in our next video. Until then. Bye.